friends again welcome to Mima's crafts today i'm going to show you how to crochet this ribbed bag here with wooden handles this is a very simple bag to crochet even for beginners and we're just going to be using single crochet from start to finish okay so let's see what we're going to need for us to crochet this bag so you're going to need a scissors a crochet hook six millimeter crochet hook a tapestry needle for joining the sides and then you're also going to need my cream this is three millimeter thick polyester my cream you can even use cotton my cream it's still fine then you're also going to need the wooden handles and also the beads for accessorizing the bag so let's begin here make a slip knot And over and then pull through okay so now I'm going to make my first single crochet okay so I'm going to insert my hook below okay like this and then grab my yarn this one pull it up like this to have two loops and over pull through both loops like this so this is my first single crochet okay i'm just going to do this a little bit slower okay so i'm going to be hiding this as we crochet this tail here okay so make sure that after each and every single crochet that you do you pull through so that here it is tight and you close any gaps in between okay so let's do the second one okay so i'm setting my hook Okay, like this. Sorry. Pull through like that and over and pull through. Okay. Okay, like that. I now have two. Let's do the third one. Okay. And over and then pull through. So now I have one, two, three. So just make sure that it is tight here, okay, so that those loops here around the handle are not loose, okay. So now I have three. I'm going to go on and do the fourth one. And over, and then pull through. Okay, showing that it is tight. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just going to continue up until I have 21 and then come back. Welcome back. So I now have 21 stitches here. So now we're going to move on to the next row okay so here at the end you just chain one okay and then you ten so we're going to be doing single crochet in the back loop okay so here you'll find that we have the front loop and the back loop okay so here this one is a turning chain and does not count as a stitch so my first stitch is this one okay so i'm going to insert my hook in the back loop only and do one single crochet like that again my front my back so I insert in the back loop only and do one single crochet okay again this is the front this is the back okay one single crochet so I'm just going to continue with one single crochet up until I'm at the end here I'm back so I've just finished this row this is going to be my first row this one that we just did so it's just going to be single crochet in the back loop so here at the end make sure that you crochet into the very last stitch 
and you maintain 21 stitches you chain one and then you turn and here again you begin in the first stitch this one remember this one is a turning chain so you begin in here in the back loop one single crochet in the back loop so just going to repeating this pattern of one single crochet in the back loop until the row is done and then repeat again up until we have 22 rows and then come back i've cut here and fastened off so now i want to do is want to do an edging of single crochet right round up to this point okay so i'm going to come here so we have one two three four five okay rows so i'm going to come here okay i'm going to make a slip slip one like that and then i'm going to come okay like this and then make a slip one like this okay so here you'll find that um i'm going to do my single crochet this this side okay so you find that here we have these loops here so i'm going to be doing my single crochet uh this side okay this is going to be the right side of the back okay so here so i'm going to be putting one single crochet for each row okay so here i'm going to come here like that and then make a single crochet okay then i'm going to come here make another single crochet okay for the next row Okay, so I'm going to go on. Okay, let's meet here. Okay, so I'm now at this corner here. So I'm just going to find somewhere to insert my hook, and we're going to put two single crochets at this corner. Okay, so that's one. Put another one, two. Okay, so I'm going to start again crocheting this side in the back loop. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to continue with single crochet. Let's meet at this corner here. Okay, so at this corner again, I'm going to find somewhere to insert my hook and I'm going to put two single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to insert here. That's one, and the same space. That's two. So I'll continue again. One single crochet for each row. Okay. Just like we did the side. So just continue putting one single crochet for each row up until we're at the same level as the side. So up until we're here. So here, I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to fasten this off and then come back. Okay, so this side is done. So you're going to go on and do exactly what you did with this side and then crochet another side like this one, okay, so that you have two pieces, okay? So let's do that and then come back to join. So I now have these two identical sides. So I want to join them and we're going to be using a tapestry needle. So I want this side with this loops at the top here to be the... The wrong side okay as well as this one 
okay so what i'm going to do here is this ones are going to be the right side so i'm going to press them together like this okay the right sides should first them should should face each other like this and then i'm going to come here and then here where we begin our single crochet that we did we last did so i'm going to join the outer loops here this loop together with this one okay like this so leave a tail here to fasten off later on Okay, so I'm just going to continue joining uh, the stitches right round up until we are here. Okay, so here towards the end here, you might have a discrepancy in terms of the remaining stitches. You find that here, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then this side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's still fine because because of the single crochet that we did right round, you might have a difference in the number of single crochets. So what you just do here is you repeat in some of some of the stitches that you have already done so that they, they match, okay? Like what I've just done here. So in the next stitch, I move on into the following, okay? So here, all I want is at the end, we should be here, okay? Okay, so this is the last one so i'm going to finish up here i'm going to and then i'm going to fasten this off as well as this one and then come back so make sure that you're fastening on this side remember this is the wrong side the right side is this one okay so make sure that you're fastening your ends on this side okay okay so i've done joining so i'm going to turn my bag inside out okay like this So, so far this is our back, okay, these are the edges that we just joined. So if you like, you, you can accessorize the bag with the small bits or you can just leave it as it is, okay. So I'm just going to accessorize with the small bits here. Let's put it somewhere here at the edge here. Yeah. 
Welcome back. So this is our bag. I decided to put the test over here with the beds. Okay. This is our bag, our rib bag actually. Okay, um, thank you for watching Mima's Crafts. Please do subscribe, like and comment for more videos. Thank you.